Hey again, everybody. Simone Eli Gerhard Methangani joining you here from Birmingham Legacy Arena, where it is halftime of the Auburn Iowa game, the 8 9 matchup in the Midwest region. And right now, Auburn leads the game 31 26. Really a close battle. I think their lead was a little bit bigger just a few minutes before halftime. Iowa able to cut that deficit just a little bit. But ultimately, uh, a kind of a low scoring affair right now, Gerhard. Most certainly. It's, it's complete opposite of what we saw from Alabama earlier, who shot the lights out. Auburn really struggling from beyond the arc, but luckily for them, so is Iowa. Yes. Uh, one, of six, eight, one of 17 combined for both these teams. John Ibroom, we expected him to have a, a pretty solid tournament. He's leading Auburn right now at the half yep. of those eight points. Yeah, appreciate you, guys, appreciate you guys tuning in right now. The winner of this game will play the winner of Houston and Northern Kentucky. That's the late game. And, and Gerhard, you know, we've talked leading up to this game that Auburn really got um, a good draw. I mean, right. they're able to play in yeah. Birmingham despite really struggling down the stretch in the regular season. And we've been able to see the crowd here at Legacy mm. Arena is obviously in favor of the Tigers. A lot of orange and a lot of blue, um, of course. Not a whole lot of Hawkeye fans making the trip uh -huh. to Birmingham from Iowa. Um, but I, I feel like it, it's good energy. It's not a sold-out crowd like we kind of right. saw for Alabama, right. but a really, really good crowd for the Tiger supporters. It broke really well, the bracket did, for Auburn. And you have to wonder if that's part of the reason why Auburn's a, a slight favorite sure. because they're playing in such close proximity to home. We did see a lot of Auburn fans. I would say yes. it's 95-5 as, uh, as far as the total goes. And then yeah. Some, some Alabama fans that, that stuck around yes. afterwards, yep. maybe went and got something to eat when the yep. arena cleared, and then came back just yes. to watch this team as well, yep. and then get a, a look at Houston because they might meet a little bit later sure. on in the next few weeks. Yes, it could take a, a little bit later down into the final four. They could see Houston. I mean, that would be a big matchup. That's the yeah. matchup that I have in my bracket. Same. We have seen some big upsets today yeah. as Furman beat Virginia, and then... Um, and then the number two, uh, Arizona, yes, Arizona lost Arizona. to Princeton. Yes, that was the other yeah. big upset. So I'm sure a lot of busted brackets for everybody yeah. out there right now. Uh, Alabama had no issue uh, winning their game earlier here at Legacy Arena, a 21-point win. Um, so as we expected, the Tide will play Maryland tomorrow. Who right. kinda, uh, the Terps had more of a battle yeah. uh, against West Virginia than what certainly what Alabama had to deal with. Uh, no doubt about it. And we always know that 8-9 matchup, just like the one we're seeing here, yeah. can always go either way. Yeah, you have two teams pick. that are usually power five teams that that played really well at times yep. during their season. It's just who could play the best 40 minutes yes. in this game. Maryland had a good stretch, especially at the very end of their game. Yeah. Could have went either way, but the Terps got it done, so that's who Bama's got. Yeah, so the sun is kind of setting here. If you take a look around here, it's a beautiful night here in Birmingham. Uh, you really couldn't ask for a better weather day here. Mm -hmm. was really considered still winter. It's gorgeous exactly. outside. And our coverage is really just getting started. We uh, we will talk to fans at 9 o'clock on WKRG. And then at 11, we'll have a late 10 o'clock newscast. That begins at 11. We will have all the recap from the Auburn game, the Alabama win, and then what's ahead for both teams as March Madness is really just now getting underway, Gerhard. Day one. Yes. Day one of weekend number one. Right Got a long way. A lot yes. of basketball left. Yes. We cannot wait, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Simone, Eli, Gerhard, Mathangani, we will see you uh, a little bit later tonight. Have a good one.